probably wouldn't stand a chance to live If you've seen the things I've seen If you've been through what I've been through Take a walk in my shoes You probably wouldn't stand a chance to live If you've seen the things I've seen If you've been through what I've been through Good morning, y'all. Coming live and direct straight from Hair Escapades, where we take you from dry to fab. Okay, so I want to say what's up to all my fabbers out there. Uh, I promised one of my fabbers a video on how to build your clientele. Okay, first of all, number one, if you're not on the internet, go kill yourself. Because. Boom, boom. <laughs> because. The, the way that technology is these days, everything is instant. So um, you have to get with the times. It's cool to still have a referral, you know, or, you know, people come and get their hair done and they refer you to their friends and family. That's cool too, but you cannot depend on that. So you must do social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr, uh pinterest you know whatever you can get on get on it saturate the internet and when it comes to social media i have a problem with people woo, people woo, woo. wow <laughs> just, i gotta turn the camera on her because she she just well, I, was I, gotta, I gotta turn the camera on your ass Wow. I apologize. Whoa. Was that, that a commercial? Was... What was that? Was that part of what Wow. Like, try, try to... And well, are you okay over there? Are you okay? I have a problem with people using social media as a platform to talk shit about people, to gossip, to spread rumors, to just spread negativity. Now don't get me wrong, I understand that we live in America, it's all about freedom of speech, but keep in mind that whatever negative things you put out there is gonna be negative results. So yeah, you have freedom of speech to, to you know put out your views on this, that, and the third, but it can have repercussions, you know what I mean? So my whole thing is use social media as a platform to build your clientele. Be professional, empower people, you know what I mean? Don't use it to talk shit and to voice issues that you have with somebody else on there. All that, you know, fuck everybody and bitch you this and that. No, that's not the way to go. Use social media to promote your business. You feel me? Okay, so that's number two. Business cards. I still use business cards. Um, I keep, I mean, I always order like thousands of business cards. I always have them for the shop. Um, I have other little things to pass out to my clients, you see? Hair escapade pins. Um, I also give them pads. So wherever they go, you know, t-shirts. We also have t-shirts as well. Um, I go really hard with marketing and promotion because even though I know I'm fabulous, but I need the whole world to know I'm fabulous. So you have to get the word out there. Business cards, wherever you go, where you spend money at, whether it's at uh, the beauty supply, your favorite uh, uh, restaurant, um, coffee, cafe, always leave your cards especially give cards out to those who are behind the counter because it's all about consumers they see thousands and thousands of consumers every day so if they hair looking nice you know a potential client can say oh my god where you get your hair done at and then they got a card hair escapades there you have it another place that's good to pass out cards is like walmart's and targets I've passed out so many cars in Target because, you know, especially like during the day, a lot of stay-at-home moms and, and you know, you find a lot of customers in, you know, department stores, but try to get those people that are behind the counter because, girl, that's, that, that, they working for you. You know what I mean? Um, what else? Also, always keep your hair done. There's nothing like a hairstylist walking around with her hair unkept, looking sloppy. How are you going to get business? Because I know if a hairstylist walked up to me, if I'm just a regular consumer and her hair jacked up, and she give me a card, I'm going to look at her like, really? 
always have your hair done that's why I'm always having different colors and funky hairdos because I'm a walking billboard the first thing people don't even know me they'll come up to me and say oh my god I love your hair and guess what I do that's the perfect opportunity to give them what your business card oh thank you by the way I have a hair salon um, hair escapades right here on Ventura come by Let's offer discounts to your 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 customers say hey if you refer me to, to someone um, you get 20% off the next time you get you know your hair done people love discounts just do the right thing do good quality work because with the way with all these different um, sites where they can leave reviews you have to be I'm telling you, you have to be so on point and the competition is fierce like especially where I'm at on Ventura I can't even tell you how many um, salons are on Ventura but you have to find your niche if you're good at hair cutting go hard with hair cutting you know what I mean don't try to venture into something you really don't you're really not that good at yet you know what I mean take classes develop your skills but all it take is one bad review and you could just be done so be consistent with the work that you put out look nice get business cards flyers uh, and be on the internet all right love you guys you know how we do where we take you from drive